In this video, I can show you how you can achieve more consistent look on your Windows 11 using Rectify 11 installer. So a couple of days ago, there was actually a release of Rectify RC1. So basically what that means is the release candidate version one, which you can also right now install on your Windows 11 PC. And I will actually show you how you can do that in this video. So what is Rectify 11? So Rectify, actually claims that this is a modification which makes Windows 11 more consistent. And here on this GitHub page, if I scroll down, you can also see which projects are being used to achieve that consistent look. So here we have, for example, Resource Hacker, Limp Style, Secure UX Theme, Mika for Everyone, and so and so on. So many of the tools are being used to achieve this consistent look on Windows 11. So right now, let me show you how the Windows 11 is inconsistent with the UI. So here, if I go to the settings, let's go to the apps and installed apps here. So this is one way how you can basically uninstall programs on Windows 11. But if you go here, for example, and search for the control panel, here is another way how you can uninstall a program on Windows 11. So this inconsistency between the UI is huge. So here we have this brand new UI from the Windows 11 settings, and here we have the old way. So the old UI from the control panel. So this is basically the old UI, and this is the new one, which I hope that the Rectify 11 actually can achieve also in the control panel when we will install it. So what I highly recommend to you guys is that you create a system restore point before installing Rectify 11. So this is one thing which I highly recommend. If you guys are interested in my current wallpaper, which I have on my desktop, make sure that you check out the first link in the video description and uh, check out basically my brand new wallpaper pack. Here, if I go on my Firefox web browser, let me go to the releases tab. So as I said in the beginning of the video, this is the release candidate version one, which is should be probably quite stable. So in this video, I will show you how you can install this Rectify version on your system and also how to uninstall it later in the video. So make sure that you stick out to the end of the video for that as well. So I will go through some of the new features which are present in this Rectify 11 release candidate version one and also a few of the modifications of Windows 11 that it basically makes more consistent. So right now let's go to this page which I will also put a link in video description down for and here down below make sure that you click on the Rectify 11 installer dot exe file. So here down below, I already have this exe file. Let's click on it and let's see what actually happens. Here I will click yes. And now we have the welcome screen of the Rectify 11 installer. And here down below, we can also see the version, which is right now 3.0. Here I will click install now. And now we have that this version of the installer is for the testing purposes. Only Rectify 11 3.0, the complete version will be released soon. So here I will click on the next click on the agree for the license. Here I will also choose what will be rectified. So if you don't want anything to be rectified, you won't actually be able to click next here. So here I will click on the system icons, themes, and also the extras. You can also see what happens if you check the extras. So rectified gadgets, accent color, colorizing, and so and so on. So yeah, really nice options here for the Rectify 11 3.0. Here right now, I will click on the next. We also have the personalize your experience. We have select your desired theme. We have here set to light. We can also select here dark or dark with Mika, but I will here right now stick with the light theme. So right now I will click on the next. Here we also have an option to select your desired desktop experience, enhance fluent menus, enhance fluent menus, all items in root classic context menu, classic menus with our transparency and also Windows 11 default. Here I will go with enhanced fluent menus. Click on the next and uh, now you can also see what will happen to your system and let's click on the install and then I will get back to you guys when the Rectify 11 installer completes with the installation. So this is right now how the Rectified 11, Windows 11 installation actually looks like. Here we 
have a brand new wallpaper from the Rectify team and it I think it looks absolutely fantastic just like my brand new wallpaper pack called Vivid Horizons make sure to check out the first link in the video description for that so this is basically the Rectify 11 of Windows 11 right now so let me show you which apps are right now brand new on this Windows 11 installation. So here, if I go to the apps, installed apps, if I scroll down here, we can see that we have Rectify 11, Rectify Gadget Pack. So very, very interesting. Here, if I close right now the Windows settings, and if we right click on our desktop, we also have a brand new right click context menu. So here, for example, we have view, sort by, refresh. Then we also have more options like display settings, we have also new and also the gadgets which are also new with this Rectify 11 installation. If I click here on the gadgets you will see that we have a brand new gadget page with the gadgets from the Windows 7. So for example we have here clock, battery meter, calendar and let me add for example the clock to our desktop. So this is right now the actual widget which we can place wherever we want on our desktop. So these are basically the widgets for our desktop or gadgets for our desktop from Windows 7 on our Windows 11 system. So if I click on here on this gear icon for the clock, for example, we can also change the style of the clock if you want to. So for example, let's apply this one. Then we have the time zone and also you can name the clock if you want to. So click OK here and right now we have a brand new clock here and we also can make this calendar larger size. So if you are into the gadgets, you can also apply the gadgets using the Rectify 11, which I think it's absolutely fantastic. Here we also have a brand new program called Control Panel. So as you can see, it has a brand new icon and all of the icons here are also brand new. So if I go right now to the uninstall a program, unfortunately this isn't changed. So we have here the old UI from the old Windows 11. So this is basically the old version of Control Panel just with a brand new icon, which I actually hoped that it it would change when installing the Rectify 11. At the top left, we also have a brand new program called Rectify 11 Control Center. So if I open that, you will see that we have here the welcome screen and we can actually change the theme of our windows. So let me show you first how the file explorer actually looks like right now with this light theme. So we have here new accent for this bar of the free space on our local disk C, but all of the icons here are pretty much the same. So this is it basically. Now, if I go here to change the theme, let's change from the light theme to let's say dark theme with Mika effect. So this is how the actual dark theme with the Rectify installed on your Windows 11 actually looks like. So here we also have really nice accent color right here with this gradient effect. We also have this quite much more darker color of the file explorer as well here. So I think this is all good and fine with also a brand new wallpaper here as well, which I think it also looks absolutely fire. So maybe you got bored of this Rectify 11 and you basically want to get rid of it. So do you remember the actual Rectify 11 installer? So here it is. So make sure that you use the Rectify 11 installer to uninstall the Rectify 11 installation. So if you open the Rectify 11 installer right now, and then you have an option here, uninstall Rectify 11, restores the original Windows 11 look. So if you click on this, then you can choose what will be restored, system icons, themes, and extras. So every single thing that you installed with the Rectify 11 can also be uninstalled. So here, if you click next, right now, it says here Rectify 11 gone. This script will right now uninstall the Rectify 11 on your system and revert it back to the original Windows 11 look. So with that said, this is pretty much it for this quick review of the Rectify 11 
release candidate version 1.0. Link for the Rectify installer if you want to try this Rectify uh, 11 on your system will be in the video description down below. Just like the link for my brand new wallpaper pack called Vivid Horizons. If you want to check them out, make sure that you click the first link in the video description. So yeah, thank you for watching and have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.